Oi, oi, guys. I hope everybody's having a great start of their week. Going into that midweek, come tomorrow, going into that Wednesday. I hope everybody's pushing forward. I hope everybody's in that PMA and doing that PPA. Remember what the PPA is, the positive progressive actions, yeah? Those are those things that we use that get us forward. It doesn't have to be huge. It can even mean that you're getting your feet on the ground and getting yourself forward into the bathroom when you're feeling that real bad depression and shit that's coming on and your mind's telling you to stay in bed. The PPA is getting your feet on the ground, going against what your mind's telling you and pushing yourself forward into a more positive and progressive action. PMA, positive mental attitude. Got to have that positive mental attitude to get to that PPA. You build up that positive mental attitude by working on self. And this is when I want to have that little call out to you guys because you can do this. You can push yourself in a better direction. You can go in a positive way. If you look at some of the videos that I've put out there recently, I put out there one recently on victim, being the victim. And I think we can play into that sometimes, me included. We can get into that victim mentality of it's somebody else's fault or something put us there or, right? Use your mind in a positive manner to get you going forward away from that. The sun is always behind those clouds and those clouds will move. And when those clouds move, the sun will shine again. But it's putting our mind in a position of being able to see the clouds moving. Now that comes with working on yourself. That comes with continually using tools to help you get somewhere to help you understand even other people. And it also helps you to even be able to explain to another person of where some of this comes from. Because I tell you what, I had absolutely no idea. I knew my mind was thinking all the thoughts that it was thinking, but I had no idea where it was coming from or what traumas may have been triggering things. or I didn't have a clue about anything. But look where I am at now. I used to be deathly afraid of a phone. Just the phone ringing would send me into a panic. I would get into these strong, I couldn't even, I couldn't even answer the phone. I would look at the phone and even know it was on the other end of that, and I still wouldn't be able to answer that phone. And of course, it comes from places, and I've worked on that. Hence the reason why I'm being able to do the work I do now. And I'm being able to talk to my phone and talk to you guys that are out there, which is, I have no idea how many people will see this, but you're, I'm reaching an audience out there and I never would have dreamed ever that when I was having that phone phobia and that phone fear that would come on, never, never, ever would I have ever thought that I would be doing something like this. I use my work over Zoom. It's, it's another communication thing that I'm doing now through Zoom and working with people through Zoom. I would never have been able to do that. I would never have had the career that I have now. I would never have had the profession that I absolutely love. I have meet so many awesome, awesome people and people that are out there that sit in front of me that I look at and I'm like, right, you're ready and they're on. And we move and we work and we push and we go through traumas and we, you know, sometimes we'll go through that together. Because I relate to my guys. I like to relate to my guys. In all the rule books, it tells you you're not supposed to really do that. You're not even supposed to really show emotion. I show my emotion. I also show vulnerability when I help my guys. I had someone even say to me when I was about to go onto their journey, they said to me, Steve, thank you. Thank you for being vulnerable because that allowed me to be vulnerable. You don't know who you're meeting out there that you could be making a change to. You don't know who you're bumping into and just the simple act of smiling, one can pull you up out of something that you may be in in your own head but it can also pull that person up that you just smiled at. What if they're going through a situation and just that smile, let that person know 
that there's someone there and is actually seeing and caring about them enough to be able to smile, say hello, good morning, hello, how are you? Hope your day goes well. I do this when I'm out on walks and that. I'll wave at people that I've never stopped and actually talked to. And then I've had those people that I've been waving to and then you get to know those people. You get to stop at some point and you get to have those chats. I would never have been able to do that. I was that guy who would walk on the other side of the street to avoid all that. Because that was fear to me. But look where I'm at now. You can do this. It just means stretching out a hand, going out there and getting some help. There's no weakness in asking for help. None. There's strength, courage, and that perseverance and that strong mind to stretch out a hand and ask for help. It's not a weakness. Everybody, you know, you hear these people, ah, therapy, not for me, ah, you hear it all the time, ah, that's for other, that's for everybody else, it's nuts. What? <laughs> really? Because I tell you, I think everybody could do with a little talking to people, I really do. I think, I think people walk around sometimes and believe they haven't got any kind of issue going on whatsoever. I know a lot of some of the issues, not a lot, lot, but some of the issues that I have come up against, I didn't even realize. I sure didn't realize about the trauma and stuff or stories or things that come up that I had no clue that that had an effect on my day to day now. So go and talk to somebody, please. And please, Pass these videos around that I'm putting out there because that also helps people. I've had people come and say to me, hey, Steve, you know, thanks. I appreciate it. I've had people I don't even know that come up and use my nickname that I go out there with, which is Cockney Butter. In fact, I don't even, I'm starting to really not even look like that as a nickname because it's a, it's a, it's a piece of me that I'm building to be able to help myself. And it's a piece of me that I'm building to be able to help everybody else out there. I put these messages out there to get to you guys so hope in the hopes that it will help. And I'm seeing some of those messages come forward. Sometimes I even get just prayer hands come up and you know, like a, you know, you know. But I've met some really, really good people and I'm building a really, really good community, and it all comes around mental health. Fight the stigma, I'm wearing the shirt, right? Fight the stigma. Tell people that you do therapy, talk about it. Don't be ashamed of it. Don't be ashamed that you're going out there and you're getting help. Just because this person is saying that that's gobbledygook or that's rubbish or that doesn't work. You know, I used to have that mentality. You know why I used to think it didn't work? You know why? Because I'd been through so much different therapy that it was all done by the book and I wasn't really getting anywhere. I've been through many different medications. But I know what not to do. I know what works and what don't work. And being a personal person and being able to relate to somebody and being able to have a relationship with that person on a different level with also the understanding the boundaries and understanding who I am to them. And as long as they understand that, we move. But there's nothing like having a personal touch to come with somebody helping you. So please, pass this around if you would. Go and hit that subscribe button because you're really starting to help this message get out there to those people that could hear this and could really do with that help. I do this for a living. I have a certification. And I love, love, love what I do. The reason I love what I do is because I know where I've changed. And I know how I've shifted through work. And I just want to be able to show somebody else, look, you can do it. Let's get going. Let's do the work. 
and let's move towards a different journey. A journey away from where you're at. I've had them sit there, Steve, I don't, and I'm like, I've been where you're at right now. I relate. I've been where you're at right now. We can get out of this. There's a way. Sometimes that means just being sitting with your emotions. I do that with my guys too. What is it that's going on right now? Let's sit and look at that. Let's close our eyes and tune in. What's coming up for you? What is it? And then start looking at what the pieces parts are. The jigsaw pieces that come together to make a whole. Right now the whole might be disjointed and moving in different directions. But we can pick those pieces up and start slotting those pieces into place. If it doesn't fit, it don't belong. That includes like people and situations and people that don't believe in you. They may have a jigsaw piece there, but if it don't belong, then it don't belong. It won't fit. When you start seeing yourself, when you start understanding yourself, and this can take in different amounts of time, guys. This doesn't happen overnight. Remember, how long have you been programmed for? How long have you sat in these strong programs and sitting there and don't understand why you may be feeling the way you're feeling? It happens over time. It happens through different traumas. It happens from childhood and in adulthood. You can be programmed in adulthood. How many of you may be getting, I don't know, like controlled, manipulated? How many of you are sitting wondering why you're pleasing everybody else but you can't please yourself? Why? There's whys and reasons. So please, hit that subscribe. Hit that like. Get this out there to the people that could really do it here in this. And have them go and look at all my other videos, please. Because I'm trying to put the message out there and pull a community in to mental health. And help other people on a bigger scale. But I can't do it without you guys. Know that you can do this. Know that you can get yourself forward. And know that there's people like me and many other people out there that can help you. Don't stop. Just because one person isn't in a fit for you, move on. I probably don't fit with every, everybody that I work with. That I have that keep turning up on a loyal basis, you know. Then there's those that you may have a few and they may move on or they may drift off or they may not. You know, you don't know. But don't take that personal. It's not a personal thing. It doesn't mean you're no good at what you're doing. It just means that they're not the right piece of you. And I'm talking to people out there that help people right now. Because you can't get into that. You can feel, oh no, especially if you're on a mind like me where you want to you wanna help this person, you're 100% you're on board. It's not down to you. It's not down to you. It's not down to you to have the responsibility of fixing. That's down to the individual to fix themselves. You go ahead. You're not, you're not the responsible one for someone not fitting. Just, it is what it is. And for those that are going through therapy or those that are looking for somebody, don't feel bad if you don't fit. It's okay. Move on, find somebody that does fit. I'm not saying come to me. I'm saying get the message out there, please. Please get the message out there. Please hit that subscribe. Please get this message out there to the people that can really help, do with the help with this. I know I keep saying it. I sound like a bloody broken record, right? <laughs> but I can't, I can't emphasize it enough. It's going to help me too. Yeah, of course, because I know there's going to be people, yeah, you only done it because of course it helps me. Of course it helps me, but if it helps me, it's going to help a shit ton of other people. Because yeah, if I pick up some business, great, awesome. But how many other people is it affected? And if people, if I do get business out of it, absolutely awesome. Because what does that actually mean? It means there's someone coming and getting help and working with me with something. Don't be afraid. 
Love yourself enough to get the help. And please love me in hitting that subscribe button and getting me out there to the people that could really get some help. Go and look at them all, all my videos that I've got out there. I also have a podcast, uh, Getting, Get-in, G-E-T-T-I-N, Getting Real with Cockney Buddha. Go and look, it's across all the platforms. It's also popping up on YouTube as well. It comes up on there. But it's across all the platforms that you can hear it in your car, listen in your car. I have meditations on there too. And I also have a website, Mind Nutrition for the number four, all.com. I'm going to be revamping it a little bit. It might be down at some point because I, I want to I totally rebuild it and learn what I really can do with it and not be so intimidated because that was another thing. I wasn't. Po- I bought podcasts and equipment at it sitting in the corner for a year before I opened up the box and started actually using it. Now I'm podcasting and I'm loving it. But I missed a year because I didn't get the equipment out through intimidation. Don't be that. You don't have to be that. You can come on in front of me and say, hey, I want to, I'm mentoring somebody now. You can come in front of me and be like, oh, this is direct, and we'll work, we'll do it. Set the intent, have the commitment, have the drive, and you'll move. Keep on that PPA, keep on the PMA, and please, stay the course. Namaste.